everyone, welcome to the ranch. Today, we are going to make a rotisserie chicken. I'll be using my Weber kettle along with my rotisserie kit, and we're gonna keep this cook pretty simple. Just gonna be a chicken and some barbecue rub, nothing fancy. Let's get started. Here is my setup today. As you can see, we've got the Weber kettle with the rotisserie kit sitting on top, and I'm going to keep all the charcoal to one side using my slow and sear basket but you can use any basket you want, or you could just put the charcoal over there. The last time I made this, I had two baskets, one on each side. This time I'm gonna try it just using the one. We'll fire this up in a minute, and we'll put the chicken on. These are the ingredients for this cook. There's just two of them, a Kirkland brand small chicken and some bald buck barbecue seasoning. There are so many ways to truss a chicken. We just kind of created our own based on what we watched. So we have basically a Spider-Man web wrapped around this chicken. After we finished tying it up, we applied some of the barbecue seasoning to the surface, which gave it a really nice color. Last but not least, we stuck the spit rod through it. The plan here is to get it up to about 350 degrees, and then we'll put the chicken on. There we go, chicken is on. I'm just gonna uh, sprinkle a little bit more of the rub, since when it was in the fridge, some of it uh, came off. There we go. I'll leave this on for a little while, we'll check on it in a bit. Just gonna put a little bit of apple wood in there on the fire give it a little bit of smoke flavor. She's holding steady at 350 degrees, just where I want her. We're a little over half an hour into this cook. Just wanted to take a look and see how it's coming along. Mm, it smells delicious. So far, so good. Here we are about an hour into the cook. It's got some really nice color. I sprayed it a little bit ago with some cooking spray. I generally find that when I do that, it adds a little bit more crisp to the skin. The skin of the chicken was getting enough color and I didn't want it to burn. So I just wrapped it up in some foil to finish up the cook. Just took it off for a minute just to probe it 165 there. I think I think we're pretty good. Maybe a degree, but I think while it's resting it'll uh, it'll take care of itself. I think we're ready. I was really happy with how that rotisserie chicken came out. It was very juicy, it was tender, had some really great flavor. That bald buck seasoning that I used, first time I've ever used it, tasted fantastic. My wife grilled up some potatoes and some corn on the cob, so we paired that with the chicken. Had an absolutely delicious meal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please click subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time at the ranch.